Vesper theory for predicting molecular shapes. The state of hybridization of the central atom in simple organic molecules helps us to predict their shape. For example, the state of hybridization of the central atom carbon in methane is sp3. This would help us to predict its shape to be tetrahedral. The shapes of polyatomic molecules or ions can also be predicted based on the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, also known as Vesper theory. As per this theory, bonded and non-bonding electrons around the central atom in a molecule would like to orient themselves in space in such a manner as to keep maximum distance from each other to avoid repulsions. Beryllium hydride, borane and methane will have linear, trigonal planar and tetrahedral shapes. Only in these shapes are the bonded pairs of electrons farthest from each other. In ammonia, nitrogen atom is surrounded by three pairs of bonded electrons and one pair of non-bonding electrons. The non-bonding or lone pair electrons require more space and hence push down the H-NH -H bond angle to 107 degrees giving it a pyramidal shape. In water, the oxygen atom is surrounded by four pairs of electrons. The two lone pairs of electrons requiring more space compress the H or H bond angle to 104.5 degrees giving it a bent shape. We will continue to demonstrate how Vesper theory can be used for predicting molecular shapes. In carbon dioxide, the central atom is in sp hybridization state and hence the molecule would be linear. Since the central atom is attached to just two other atoms, the Vesper theory also predicts its shape to be linear. Formaldehyde shape would be trigonal planar since the central atom is in sp2 hybridization state and is attached to three other atoms. Ammonium ion would be tetrahedral in shape since the central atom is in sp3 hybridization state and is attached to four other atoms. Hydronium ion would have trigonal pyramidal shape since the central atom is in sp3 hybridization state and is attached to three other atoms and a lone pair of electrons. Sulfur difluoride would have a bent shape since the central atom is in sp3 hybridization state and is attached to two lone pairs of electrons and two atoms. Calculation of formal charges on specific atoms in molecules and ions. Formal charge is the degree of positive or negative charge on a chemically bonded atom in a polyatomic molecule or ion or on a simple ion. When water is ionized, it splits into hydroxide ion and proton. 
the oxygen atom in the hydroxide ion is surrounded by two bonded electrons and six non-bonding electrons. Since one half of the bonded electrons belongs to hydrogen, the oxygen is surrounded only by seven electrons. But in its atomic state, oxygen has only six valence electrons. The extra electron around the oxygen atom is indicated by a negative charge called formal charge. Since hydrogen lost one of its electron to oxygen, it carries a positive charge. In its atomic state, hydrogen has only one valence electron. Formal charge can be calculated by subtracting the number of non-bonded electron plus one half of the number of bonded electrons from the number of valence electrons. Calculation of formal charges on specific atoms in molecules and ions. The structures of some neutral molecules like nitromethane, CH3NO2 can be written correctly using Lewis bond notations only if some of the chemically bonded atoms bear a positive charge and other atoms bear a negative charge. The molecule as a whole would be neutral. Based on sigma bond connectivity, three structures A, B and C can be written for nitromethane. In A, each oxygen atom has one unpaired electron, making the structure an unstable diradical. Also in A, each oxygen atom is surrounded by seven electrons, which is forbidden by the octet rule. In B, one of the oxygen atoms is surrounded only by six electrons, hence does not obey the octet rule. In the correctly written structure C, all atoms are surrounded by an octet of electrons. C has a positive charge on the nitrogen atom and a negative charge on the oxygen atom. These charges on structure C can be calculated as follows. The first oxygen atom has one half of two bonded electrons plus six non-bonding electrons, a total of seven electrons. Since it has only six valence electrons, it will carry a net negative charge. The nitrogen atom has one half of eight bonded electrons plus zero non-bonded electrons, a total of four electrons. Since it has five valence electrons, it will carry a positive charge. The second oxygen atom has one half of four bonded electrons for plus four non-bonded electrons, a total of six electrons. Since it has six valence electrons, it will carry no charge. We will continue to illustrate how to calculate formal charges on some polyatomic ions and molecules. In the ammonium ion, the charge on the nitrogen atom can be calculated as follows. The nitrogen atom has one half of eight bonded electrons plus zero non-bonded electrons, a total of four electrons. Since it has five valence electrons, it will carry a positive charge. In the borohydride ion, 
the boron will have one half of eight bonded electrons plus zero non-bonded electrons, a total of four electrons. Since it has three valence electrons, it will carry a negative charge. In the hydronium ion, the oxygen atom will carry one half of six bonded electrons plus two non-bonded electrons, a total of five electrons. Since it has six valence electrons, it will carry a positive charge. In the acetate ion, the oxygen atom will carry one half of two bonded electrons plus six non-bonded electrons, a total of seven electrons. Since it has only six valence electrons, it will carry a negative charge. Calculation of formal charge on polyatomic ions and molecules. In diazomethane, the first nitrogen atom will have one half of eight bonded electrons plus zero non-bonding electrons a total of four electrons. Since it has five valence electrons, it will carry a positive charge. The second nitrogen atom has one half of four bonded electrons plus four non-bonding electrons, a total of six electrons. Since it has five valence electrons, it will carry a negative charge. In fulminic acid, the nitrogen atom has one half of eight bonded electrons plus zero non-bonding electrons, a total of four electrons. Since it has five valence electrons, it will carry a positive charge. The oxygen atom has one half of two bonded electrons plus six non-bonded electrons a total of seven electrons. Since it has six valence electrons, it will carry a negative charge.